finished getting ready. I'm getting ready to go hang out with my mom and my aunt and we are going to, well, I better not say that because I can't tell you. <laughs> I'm going to hang out with my mom and my aunt. So I am going to post a really speeded up version of the get ready and um, I will list all the products that I use in the description box because I'm not sure that you were able to see them when I was holding them up or whatever. But, um, this is not like a makeup tutorial or whatever. It was just me getting ready and listening to, um, That's What I Like by Bruno Mars on repeat like 47 times because it's my favorite song. And, um, if you have any questions about anything else that's in the video, leave it in the comments and I'll read it. And it is a very sunny, fantastic day. And, oh, and the powder that I put on, I had this CoverGirl powder that I had only used once. And I put it on, and even though it looks like it has shimmer in it, it didn't come out shimmery in the pictures that I took. And so I'm like, okay, well, I'll use it again and see how I like it. And when I put it on, it was so, it's so red because I use it in the summer. When I'm tan, I'm red. And when I'm not, I'm not red at all. And so I'm like, I can't freaking use this powder so I had to get rid of it but anyway um so like now my makeup's kind of off but anyway so have a great Saturday and uh I'll see you in the next video bye all right guys so I'm starting out with MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC45 that bottle is just about empty I actually use this to cor correct. Um, it's very, very orange. The lighter shade that I use, which is NC42s, is, is not, but they don't have my perfect shade, which would be NC43. So um, I use it for correction. It works great. I mostly am using it on post acne scars and under my eyes. And I like it because it sets and it does not move. If they had my perfect shade and it set, I will probably use this as an all-over concealer and not put anything else on. For foundation, I'm using the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in the color Sarah Cruz, and I'm applying that with a damp Real Techniques blending sponge. Now, I have been using this for about a week and a half or so, and I really, really like this foundation. It is light, it's a medium but buildable coverage, it's very, very comfortable to wear. I don't really feel like I have anything on my face when I wear it. You do have to shake it up before you apply, but it stays put very well. It's not matte. It's not super luminous. So even though I'm a little bit oily on my nose, I can wear this throughout the day without blotting if I don't want to, and it still looks great. So if I put it on in the morning and I was gonna go somewhere in the evening and I forgot some powder or forgot something to blot with, I wouldn't really have to worry about it. So I really, really like the way this foundation looks. So it's very, very comfortable and light. And there's my super running nose because of my sinus issue. Next, I'm going in with the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the color Caramel. That's also a new product for me and I really like that as well. Um, I'm going back and forth between applying it with my finger and applying it with a brush. I'm not sure which one I like the best. I think it depends on what I'm doing with it. Um, I think sometimes under my eyes I like to use a brush and then for my face I like to spot conceal. So this time I'm blending it out with the Real Techniques sponge and going back and forth between that and my finger. I don't know. I don't know which when I'm going to decide which one I like better but um, it does stay put and especially if you powder it down I have done some days where I've just put on the soft matte concealer by itself with nothing else on my face and a little bit of powder it blends so flawlessly that really you can't even tell that I have it on if I didn't powder it you wouldn't be able to see it so it just it just looks phenomenal so I really 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 love the NARS products that I've tried out recently and I'm really excited to try some of their other things. I think I'm going to try out their tinted moisturizer, which is, I think, the Velvet Matte Tinted Moisturizer. I've heard that that's really popular. I may get that in the next couple of weeks, so. But I got a lot of stuff coming up for you guys, so I don't want to overwhelm you with videos. I got to pace it out. So uh, I am next going to set that powder before it set the 
concealer before it creases. Now that is a Real Techniques setting brush, the Berlin edition, which is why it looks all cute. And I'm setting this with a CoverGirl Loose Powder in the shade Honey. This powder has a very red undertone. Now in the summertime when I'm tan, I do have a red undertone to my skin, but when I'm not tan, I like to say my shade is more of a peanut butter um, and it turned me really red. So I grabbed my NYX Mineral Matte Finishing Powder, which has a very neutral undertone and I grabbed it. The color is medium dark. It's not medium dark. It's pretty light. You, can, you guys can tell I'm not very deep in my complexion. That did kind of cancel out the red and neutralize it a little bit. So it's a little bit better, but not that much, which when I put on my bronzer later, I kind of, kind of didn't need it because I kind of bronzed my face on accident with the setting powder. So whatever, but I still put on the bronzer. <laughs> so <laughs> after I finished setting where I put my concealer so that it did not move and you guys see I can skip I skipped baking because I'm just going out for a regular day and I didn't want it to be overkill I went ahead and worked on my horrible brows and I did that with a NYX slint uh, micro brow pencil and I use ash brown and espresso I like to use the espresso on the ends of my brows and then I like to use ash brown on the beginning of my brows my brows are pretty short and they don't extend out very far and so um, I have to fill in a lot of them. I like to make it look pretty natural. I don't go for what you know people like to call the Instagram brow. Unless I'm really going out in the evening, I'll conceal and all that other kind of stuff. But for a day-to-day -day brow, a lot of times I'll just do the end of my brow. So I like to mix the colors because you want something that's lighter than your actual hair color. And yes, I'm sure you can see that my hair is absolutely white in the front which I do dye and I'm actually going to touch up my color probably today but um, I do something that's much lighter than my <laughs> natural hair color and I'm obviously enjoying the Bruno Mars song that I listen to way too much so um, it's that's what I like so um, it takes me forever to do my brows. I'm sure it takes everybody forever to do their brows. Everybody has one brow that's one way, another brow that's another way. I'm left-handed, and so my brow on the left side is Satan, and my brow on the right side, it's okay. It just has a completely different arch. It doesn't have as much of an arch, and it's more difficult to work with. And then in the middle of this, I went ahead and grabbed a NYX Slim Lip Pencil in Ever, which is my favorite neutral lip color of all time it's really um, a dusty mauve rose it's a perfect pink for me it neutralizes the brown in my lips really really well it covers it with you know flawlessly a lot of times I like to cover up the natural brown line that I have around the edge of my lips and it does it with you know ease and I like it because I can wear it under a neutral lipstick of any color whether it be brown or pink or peach and also I can wear this under a lip gloss and it looks fantastic which is actually what I did on this day so then I go back to my brows which take for absolute ever and you guys will see in most of the videos that I do I probably wouldn't show you me doing my brows because it takes forever and my son comes in and asks me I don't know what he was asking me but I was trying to make sure that he ate breakfast he's kind of like me he won't eat if he doesn't have to I'm trying to do better with that so Again, forever with my brows and on my nails, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about that. It is a nail color. It's one of the Sally Hansen gel colors and I really like it. It's the no light, it's the no light colors, but I really, really like it. So I was picking something bright because it was so sunny that Saturday. The thing that I couldn't mention, it was actually going to um, help my mom do some stuff for my dad's birthday, which isn't until November, but um, I had to keep it a secret and I was thinking what if he watches this video so he likes to watch stuff to see the quality of my camera so I'm almost done with this horrible eyebrow it's almost long enough it's driving me crazy you guys see my hair is twisted up this is how I wear my hair under my wigs um, this is how I get my hair to be all crinkly and cute and I'm obviously going to wrap my hair up, which is why I have that gorgeous black and white scarf wrapped around my neck. It's an infinity scarf, and I find that these are really easy to wrap my hair with. So I have a ton of them, and I usually get them from Charming Charlie's because they're pretty inexpensive. They're like $7.99, so 
that's what's gonna happen to that hair thing I got going on. I'm gonna slap some oil on it before I wrap it up, but it's up being cute at the end. And not like, I don't know, Aunt Jemima. So next, I have the Dior Air Nude Air Tan Powder in number three, and I'm applying that with a MAC 109 brush. It's my favorite um, contouring brush. And I have to thank Atsuko for this really expensive powder that I have with the fantastic packaging. So, and as I'm bronzing, I'm kind of looking at it and being like, you know, this is really not doing crap because of the powder that I put on. Um, the blush that I'm applying is with a Real Techniques Multitask Brush, and it's a discontinued Avon blush that I freaking love. I actually ordered a blush from Makeup Geek that is a dupe for it, and when I get it, I'll show it to you guys, but I love it. And then for a highlight, I'm using Becca um, in a pressed highlighter in Opal, which is my favorite. So, and then I'm taking a bit of my Dior um, Air Nude and I'm contouring my nose just a little bit. When I look at it, I see that it's not quite dark enough to do what I want because I sometimes was thinking that it was the exact same color as my favorite bronzer um, or my favorite contour color, which is my NYX eyeshadow and Dance the Tide. It's my absolute favorite contour color. But it's not. Dance the Tide is a little bit darker, so I went and grabbed that eyeshadow single. It's one of the nude, um, the nude shadow singles. It's like $4.49 at Ulta. Sometimes I usually wait until they have it, buy one, get one half off sale, and I buy them. So I contoured my nose with that and a um, Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. So. I think I'm like really irritated with the CoverGirl powder. And then I grab my Modern Renaissance Palette by, palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm still kind of playing with the palette because it's pretty new. I've had it for about, I don't know, two months or so. Um, so all over my lid I go in with the Golden Ochre, which is pretty, pretty much the color of my skin. It's a good peanut butter color. It doesn't have, um, uh, it has a very light sheen to it, but not very much. I do that all over my lid um, with a Target blending brush. It's discontinued. I don't know. I've had it for like five years. So they have, you know, more brushes, but they've changed them since I've had, since I had that one. And then I go in with a e.l.f. blending brush and I go back and forth between these two type of brushes. The e.l.f. blending brush is the $1 white brushes um, with the little cheap wooden handle. I freaking love those brushes. I usually have about five or six of them at a time and then once the handles get all dingy, I just replace them and buy more. I love the brushes. So um, they're really good for you know detailing. They're not too big and they just do a great job and they're a dollar. So um, in my crease I am going in with antique bronze from the Renaissance palette it's not bronze to me it's kind of a I don't know smoky mauve color and I really like the way that that looks and that one is a little bit of a more matte color as well so and actually what I was doing is I was recreating something that I had did the day before when I was playing around with the palette I was just messing around with the colors to see what I could get. And then I also took that antique bronze on the outer corner of my eye. And it looks like I switched back to the Target blending brush. So any small um, blending brush will work for this and I'm just going back and forth with the colors. So and then on my brow bone I went in with Vermeer which is a light champagne shimmery color and then I'm taking a Real Techniques accent brush and I'm going underneath my lash line with antique bronze again which is a deeper color and then in the inner corner I'm going back in with Vermeer again just to add some light to the eye 
So, and then I replaced my Dior Show Iconic Overcurl Mascara in black. And oh my gosh, I'm like gagging because <laughs> I love it so much. And like, it just makes my eyelashes do the most fantastic thing. My eyelashes are a good length and they're curly, but this just makes them look phenomenal. And I just forgot how good it makes my eyelashes look. It's my favorite mascara. I get the waterproof version because my eyes can be a little bit weepy, especially when I'm wearing contacts. And so that's what I put on. And when the video ends, which you're not going to see, I'm gonna put on a pair of number 11 lashes, which are very wispy and natural for daytime. They don't do that over the look. And I'm also gonna put on some hair because I like the velvet. 